There are so many upcoming VR and AR headsets coming from pretty big companies and very promising high quality specs. In this video, we'll be covering the biggest upcoming VR and AR headsets. As you know, these headsets will represent the short term future of the VR and AR space. I personally can't wait to go broke buying these headsets, so let's dive in straight to the video. The first competitor in the blue corner coming in at 2000 by 2040 display per eye is the upcoming PlayStation VR 2. Right off the bat, PSVR 2 is already confirmed by Sony and is expected to be released in 2023. This competitor has a black and white theme design to resemble the popular PlayStation 5 which the headset will be connected to. I have insider information that PlayStation VR 2 will be showing up to fight with a 4K OLED display, eye tracking, and in-headset vibration feature. PSVR 2 already has confirmed fighters along his side such as Resident Evil 8, Call of the Horizon Mountain, No Man's Sky, and many more. Just look at the controllers it offers. First of all, they look super futuristic and it also includes the analog sticks and touch sensors for your thumb, index, and middle fingers. PSVR 2 is definitely coming to play to dominate the game. Next, coming in all the way from the fruit stand is the Apple Mixed Reality Headset. Its parent company Apple has not officially confirmed that the headset will be coming out to play but we do have strong evidence that we could possibly see this fighter by June of 2023 ready for some action. What are some of the features of this competitor? The Apple MR headset will feature a premium overall slim light design ready to dominate the lightweight classes. It is expected to include eye tracking, dual 4K screens and will be running the reality operating system from Apple. The world already knows this fighter will pack a strong punch thanks to the powerful chip inside that will be similar to Apple's M1 chip for the Mac series of computers. Don't be surprised when you open the box because Apple MR headset is expected to not have any controllers and will be solely controlled by hand tracking. I cannot wait for the official announcement of the Apple MR headset to fight in the ring. Do not be surprised by what they'll be asking you to play because I'm telling you, it'll be around two to three thousand dollars. Codename Project Cambria. MetaQuest Pro will be coming out to play in the end of 2022. Quest Pro will be a much slimmer and a balanced fighter compared to his little brother MetaQuest 2 dominating the industry right now. The fighter is expected to have 2060 by 2060 mini LED LCD panels, 12 gigabytes of RAM, which is double the RAM of the Quest 2, and face slash eye tracking features. The Quest Pro is intended for the older fans in the crowd as the headset is targeted for professional use in the workspace. It'll also see full color pass through for some AR action as well. These next two fighters, Pico 4 and Pico 4 Pro, is coming in hot to take the throne directly from MetaQuest 2. Pico 4 is under the agency of world famous TikTok owner ByteDance. Its little brother, Pico Neo Link 3, was dubbed to be a decent MetaQuest 2 alternative. The fighter is doing an amazing job hiding his identity as we do not have much information on this competitor. The new features are expected to have additional face and eye tracking capabilities. We also expect the Pico 4 to reveal its identity in April of 2023. Coming in from the augmented reality corner, we have the Tilt 5. This fighter is less commonly known as it's coming up from the underground arenas and is ready to take over the table play. This fighter comes with a wand-like controller to interact with AR content. This fighter is designed just in the tabletop setting that can show AR near its flat surface. Tilt 5 will be the perfect competitor for those excited for a board game style action in AR. And the Tilt 5 will be coming in at $359 US dollars and is currently available for reservation on their website. A brand new French fighter featuring VR and AR fighting styles, we have the Lynx R1. Lynx R1 does have a slim figure, but comes in with dual 1600 by 1600 90 hertz LCD panels and is ready to enter the battle this year. Its primary fighting technique will be through hand tracking and the controllers will be available at an extra cost. 
It uses the same Snapdragon XR2 processor found in the Quest 2 and Vive Focus 3, but has two additional high resolution color cameras for pass through AR. We'll see this competitor valued at $499 US dollars and ready to enter the fight this year. The Pimax Agency brings its two new fighters, Reality 12K QLED and Crystal QLED. Both fighters will be standalone fighters and are expected to enter the ring in 2022. The Reality packs a huge punch with 6K per eye resolution with 200 degrees horizontal field of view. If you want to see reality, you'll be expected to pay $2,400 and the crystal will offer 2,880 by 2,720 LCD panels and will be expected to ship out at $1,899. The last main fighter for the event, we have Valve Deckard standalone headset. There are many mysteries about this fighter. But rumors suggest that this fighter will have the capabilities for wireless PC VR functionality similar to Oculus Link. Valve themselves has stated that we do in fact have two headsets in training, but do not expect Decker to enter the ring anytime soon.